Hello everybody, it's Helena. I am here today. I want to talk about the topic about sabotage, sabotaging ourselves and our good efforts. Why the heck would someone that has the good intention about doing something such as, let's say, stop smoking or they want to lose weight or stop drinking, um, exercise more, um, get up earlier, go to bed earlier, all these different things, things that we want to do to improve our lives. Why do we sabotage ourselves and create um, a situation where that thing that you want to attain, that thing that you want that's just over there, just seems to be always out of reach? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about self-sabotage and some different reasons why people might be doing it whether consciously or unconsciously. As a hypnotherapist, I work with clients all the time that come to me, they want to change their habits. I'm known as the stop smoking lady, that's my absolute passion. But also today, I'm in my uh, Victoria office and I had a client come in and uh, she wanted to stop drinking as much as she did. She's a retired lady and she was finding herself drinking a couple of bottles of vodka a week and that's more than she's comfortable with. Yet she was very active um, physically and uh, you know, lots of walks and energy and exercise and she actually even took a part-time job again because she wanted to work out there in the world and yet she wanted to stop drinking. She comes from a medical background and she knows all the side effects of drinking too much alcohol, but yet she couldn't stop. And she wasn't quite sure why she was sabotaging her good health efforts with drinking too much alcohol. And what followed was a, uh, we first of all did um, an, um, some information about the mind, the conscious and the subconscious mind and, and how the subconscious mind is programmed. And then we talked about things like how your words create your thoughts and your thoughts create your feelings. How many feelings are there? Two, positive or negative. Something makes you feel good or something makes you feel bad. Creating your results. Clearly she came to me because she wants different results. Yet she was talking about not drinking. She doesn't want to drink so much. I don't want to drink so much. Why am I drinking so much? I don't want to drink so much is what she kept saying. Well, in, early, in other videos, you might notice that I talk about the words don't, not, and no. And what she was doing was telling her subconscious mind to drink because your subconscious mind doesn't get the idea of don't. Um, we went over the concept of speaking about what you do want. So if you don't want to drink, what do you want? Well, she just wanted to drink water and maybe some tea uh, or go out and about and be with people or, or or whatever it was so she started talking about all the things that she does want but she couldn't figure out why she was drinking so much well we did some hypnosis and some hypnotherapy we did a, a, a technique called um, uh, parts therapy uh, Roy Hunter he's a phenomenal hypnotherapy instructor and Roy talks about uh, benefits and um, the idea of hidden benefits and secondary gain. So when we were doing the hypnotherapy session, we found the part that was in control of the drinking habit and there was another part that wanted to be free of it. And uh, we gave each of those parts a name. Excuse my hair, I got a haircut yesterday and there seems to be a, a part <laughs> that's sticking up there. But uh, so we were doing this hypnotherapy and found the part that was responsible for drinking. And it had started, it was created uh, about about 50, about 45 years prior to today's date. And that part was there uh, because something had happened in her life that was quite overwhelming. And the part that she created was able to cope with the thing that was so overwhelming. So every time she tried to get rid of the drinking, she would sabotage because the part that was when she was a young teenager was not healed yet. So with hypnosis or hypnotherapy, we were able to heal the part that was created when she was about 17 years old, and we were able to resolve that situation back then, because as the adult in the chair, she was able to go help the younger self, and all of a sudden, she was able to come up with new ways of behaving rather than drinking, no longer needing to self-sabotage because that part was healed. 
when people want to stop smoking and they keep smoking or they want to stop drinking and they keep drinking or let's say it's cutting or doing drugs or eating too much as a hypnotherapist, we want to go and find out which part is responsible for that behavior, find out what that part needs so we can stop the sabotage. No more hidden benefits and no more secondary gain. Hidden benefits are benefits that a person is not even aware of that they're getting from their habit or their situation. Secondary gain, they are. So sabotage can be cleared up with lovely hypnotherapy session and uh, a um, parts um, parts negotiation so um, with that client we were able to find a new job for that part that was going to help her come up with choices healthy choices integrate the whole thing together and when she left the office i asked her is there any reason to drink she goes oh i don't want to drink any alcohol i like to drink water and tea and i like to be social and clear-headed i like to be active and motivated she was quite happy with her session no more sabotaging needed because the issue was reserved was resolved i'm helena i'm a hypnotherapist i help people stop smoking as well as overcome other issues as well check me out on the stopsmokinglady.com until next time bye